What's up everybody and welcome to my Ready or Not PvP event feedback. In this video I will try my best to give a constructive feedback based on my opinion and on my experience playing in the Ready or Not PvP event. I'm gonna start with the graphics and say that the graphics look pretty good. I mean sure there are some flickering floors here and there that can be fixed, but if you look at the textures and lighting they look pretty fine. Also what I really like is you can actually see your own shadow and you're not some flying ants holding a gun. You actually have your own body, which is what newer games have these days. When it comes to performance, I have a factory overclocked GTX 970, 8 gigs of RAM and an i5-4690, running it in Full HD. With that I had the game running at about 80 FPS most of the time, while my lowest was approximately 40 FPS, but it still felt kinda smooth. I had few FPS drops here and there, but I'm sure the map was still not optimized for 100% performance. Usually when maps are open like that, then they will have an impact on the performance, unlike in indoor maps that are heavily optimized. Now this map's performance is kinda special. Most of you who play SWAT 4 or watch my channel know that SWAT 4 is based. Based on what you ask? Based on corridors and less open areas. Radio or not aims to be something like SWAT 4 only better, so that means they should focus on making it close to SWAT 4 and it's actually really sad that we cannot call it SWAT 5 just yet. The map Goddamn, or whatever is going to be its final name, focuses more on open areas rather than those corridors that SWAT 4 introduced to us, therefore making it feel like some insurgency, battlefield or call of duty map. Now the question is, how can they fix this map? By adding few more buildings that connect to each other, add some blockades here and there, will turn the map more towards a SWAT 4 map. Perhaps widen the map and put a King of the Hill points outside, on the sides of the building while it's covered with props. They could also add more spawn points like behind this fence over here, add some kind of a vehicle to make it real and leave this door open, maybe remove some parts of that rock over there for another way for them to come out of this spawn point. Now, in SWAT 4, all PvP maps could fit all game modes into them, and currently I don't see how a VIP or a rapid deployment mode from SWAT 4 could fit this level. Now, I have no doubt that the layout will change or they will do something that will fit those mods in. In terms of gameplay, I felt like there was a lot of running and gunning when I was far from the objective, but slow and tactical closer to the objective I was. The running speed in this game felt too fast, in my opinion they should slow all movement speeds by around 10% and the running by 15%. They can then test it and see if this works fine and if it doesn't just bring it back to the same values it was before. For now it doesn't seem like there is any balance, heavy armor soaks up all the bullets while the light armor takes about 2-3 to three shots in the stomach to die. I only tested a small portion of the equipment but it felt like it was easy to just take less lethal or pepper ball gun and just use it on someone and then arrest. There was almost no reason to do that but I still prefer to take a normal gun and test the alpha with it. I'll start with the recoil and say that even in semi there was really a lot of recoil. It was hard to control the gun. I personally think that it should be reduced just by a tiny bit, otherwise there would be no reason to use automatic fire at all. There needs to be some balance between realism and fun. Also, the reload animations are way too fast. You're supposed to be nervous and do things a bit slower. I think reload animations should be extended by about half a second to a second. The developers could also use this period of time for weapon balance, an extra 100 milliseconds to reload your gun can mean a lot when it comes to a gunfire in first person shooters. Yo Infernal, can you talk about the doors dude? Doors? What are you talking about? In SWAT 4 there were doors, these were used to be something that you could interact with. You could use these doors as cover from yourself from the enemies, you could close them if you get naded, or something more fun that you could do is plant a C2 on it, wait for an enemy to come and then blow it up, instantly killing them and throwing their cops to the other side of the room. Ready or not trailers have clearly shown us that doors exist, so I have no idea why the developers didn't add those doors to this map. Doors could have been used in various places around this map too. But as you guys know, an alpha is an alpha. In conclusion, I think the PvP event could have have used at least one week of delay to polish things out, I'm sure the developers have taken feedback from the community and will further improve the PvP. Hopefully the upcoming beta this June will also have PvE in it so we can finally see the AI in work. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video or some other time.